Hey, what's up, everybody? Joshua Castro back at you with another Two Minute Tuesday with Plugin Boutique. And today I just want to point out the fact that you can load third party plugins inside of Isotope Ozone 8's standalone application. So you need to launch the standalone to access this. And I'm guessing because if you're inside of your DAW, why would you need to do this when you can just drop your plugins right inside of the device chain? But if you're using the standalone, you can actually bring in your plugins inside of it by clicking right here next to the ozone modules when you open the application this is what you'll normally see but you might not have noticed that right here you can bring in your own plugins any plugin vst is going to be loaded inside of here you can see i've got quite a few different ones here if you don't see any you want to click this little gear icon and perhaps scan plugins or add a new folder you can see here i've got some custom folders here where i keep my vsts and I've just pointed ozone in that direction, then hit scan and okay. And now I've got them all loaded up inside of here. So I can use any of my plugins I want inside of here, my delays, my compressors, my saturators, anything I want, I can load up inside of here. So let's just, you know, choose something. Let's choose uh, diffuse, just double click and it will load it inside of a container and it's just got a little plug-in symbol here if i close out of here i can put it anywhere in the device chain double click to bring it back up make my changes uh, you can do everything else that you want you can solo it you can bypass it if you have a compressor you're partial to but want to use ozone 8's other great features then that's how you would do it so anyway this is going to be a lot quicker than two minutes today and there's really no audio to play for you i just want to point out that you can bring in third-party VSTs into Isotope Ozone 8's standalone application. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique, and I'll see you in the next video.